Now, one of the good things about MIDI keys is that it can also load an MP3 file. Okay, so remember back. I remember back in the day, uh, one of my favorite artists was Alex Bouillon, and I constantly had a tape deck next to me and a CD player, and I would constantly try and rewind it and rewind it and stop it and rewind it and stop it to get a particular part that I wanted to learn, especially his licks. Well, now with, C, with uh, MIDI keys, not only do you have the ability to do all you can do with the MIDI files, but you have the same ability to do the exact same thing with uh, audio files. So we take an audio file, MP3, from Alex Bouillon. We just drag it into the player. We double click it and we load it into memory. Okay, here is the audio file that we loaded right in the MIDI keys, right alongside of uh, the fact that we can load in MIDI files. So here we go here, and here's an awesome song by Alex Bouillon. Okay, now notice um, when you hit the mixer, we get a new little segment here called audio. You can see it blink a little bit when the audio is going to let you know that it's actually moving. So let's turn it up a little bit more. Okay. Now, what we can do, we can pause, and stop, rewind, fast forward, like normal. Let's pause it for now. Now. Let's 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 do something here. All right. Let's let's try and figure out what key this guy's in. So we we can click around with our mouse. Let's turn it up a little bit. Turn the audio down a little bit so we can hear the MIDI more. Ah, it sounds like it's in the key of F minor. Okay? So now remember, we did the same thing as before in the MIDI. We can take our F and we can say F minor, which is the same as A flat major. So we go A flat major, I'm sorry, we go A flat major and then F minor. And the first time you do it, you actually change the key to it. So. Okay. Now. If I don't really like F minor, what if I want to play this song in, I don't know, say the key of C minor. Now I can go here and say C minor. Now mind you, this is an audio file that you can do this with. This is awesome for MIDI keys. Not only can you change the tempo, and change the key of a MIDI file, but you can change it for an audio file. No other program out there allows you to do this for MIDI and the audio. Okay. Huh. You know what? I really need to work in the key of E flat, so let's take just the E flat minor. Here we go. Uh, let's see. We got G minor. We want to go F sharp major or D sharp minor. Okay, so we go right here. D sharp is the same as E flat, obviously. He's doing some pretty funky stuff, but I don't know. They're going a little too fast for me to hear what they're doing. So let me, instead of the tempo being at 100%, let's take this down to maybe 90. Now remember, notice that when I change the key here, it automatically changes the transpose here. So I can take this back down to what we defined as the root zero, which was A flat. If I would have left it alone, it would not have defined a specific key. Woo, that was nice. Whoa, let's rewind that. Whoa, 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 what is he doing? Let's rewind that. He's doing some funky stuff. Now what I'm going to do, I rewound it, and I'm going to take the tempo down a little bit more so I can hear it to 80%. Let's hear that funky part again. I like that. Now once again, MIDI keys, 
is not only for MIDI, it's for audio as well. It's the ultimate learning tool for anybody who's uh, trying to play the keyboards, already playing, you want to learn some licks. Mind you, there's millions and millions of free MIDI files out there to learn from. Here it is. Slow it down a little bit more. Those sound like minor nines. He's just going back and forth in circles of minor thirds. Nice. Let's take up the tempo back up to 100. Nice. And that's what you can do in uh, MIDI keys. You can also load MP3s, WAV, and AIF files to slow down, to pause, to stop, change the key, change the tempo faster. Let's, learn, let's, let's hear what uh, sounds a little faster. Let's go 110. Nice. Let's go to 120. Okay, that's 110, 120. Oh, that was 500. That's way too fast. Back to 100. <laughs> All right. Let's see how low we can go. Let's take this down to 20. Woo, that's super low. Let's go back up to 30. Let's go to 40, 50, 70. You could take it as low as you want with MIDI keys. And that's MIDI keys using audio files. Next, we're going to talk about some other awesome aspects of this uh, MIDI keys program we have.